Hi everyone, in this chapter on chapter 14 is on permutation and combination. Okay, so in this first video, I'll be going through this concept of counting. That means we will be going through two principles of counting, namely the addition principle as well as the multiplication principle. And then together with that, we'll be going through three more examples pertaining to this kind of counting approaches. Now the first one is this thing called the addition principle. of counting. Now what is actually addition principle of counting? Now based on your materials that are given to you, it says that if a collection of objects is divided into m distinct non-overlapping parts with n1 objects in the first part, n2 objects in the second part, up to nm objects in the last part, then the total numbers of ways of selecting a single object. The key word here is a single object. Okay, and it says the number of ways of selecting a single object is just basically n1 plus n2 until nm. Okay, what does it mean? Let's take for example a simple real life example. Suppose you want to move from A to B. Okay. You can actually decide to actually go by MRT lines. possibly three possible MRT lines. Then you can actually go by bus. Okay, so this is bus. You can go by two different bus routes to reach B. At the same time, you can actually drive that okay. via the different expressways. Maybe there are four possible routes here. So for a person to move from A to B, he will actually consider this as non-overlapping possibilities. That means he can go by MRT lines, or he can go by bus lines, or he can go by driving lines. Right? So how many ways then can you actually move from A to B, and the number of ways would be 3 plus 2 plus 4. And so we have nine ways here. Okay, so that is actually addition principle. Now let's look at the other principle, which we call the multiplication principle. Okay, what is this multiplication principle of counting? It says that if a process can be performed in m stages and there are n1 choices in the first stage, n2 choices in the second stage, up to nm choices in the last stage. The total number of choices is the product of these choices. So what does it mean? For example, you move from A to B. Right? Say there are two possible routes. Then you move from B to C, there are three routes here. Okay. Then for example, C to D, there are two routes here. To be able to move from A to D, you have to go through the different stages in your choice. So the number of ways in this case will be 2 times 3 times 2. So that gives you 12 ways. Okay. So let's take a look at some examples here to actually go through how we actually use the addition as well as multiplication principle in our problems. Okay? Let's take a look at the first one. The first example, okay, you can try to read first. Okay, hope you have finished reading. Now in the first example, it says that this, uh, there are six different handbags of Fendi. Okay? and seven different handbags of uh, Gucci and four different handbags of Coach to choose from. And how many choices can I make okay, if I'm to buy a handbag 
from each sorry how many choices can i make if i'm to buy a handbag okay buy a handbag so if i'm going to buy a handbag basically that means you either buy a fendi handbag or you buy a gucci handbag or you buy a coach handbag so the number of ways in this case will be seven, six plus seven plus four and that gives you 17. Okay. now let's take a look at example two which is in a quite a similar to example one but this time around it says how many choices can i make if i'm to buy a handbag from each brand each brand so that means that you're going to buy one fendi handbag one gucci handbag as well as one coach handbag so you are going through stages basically in your choices so in the second example the number of ways would then be six times seven times four and that gives you one six eight so you have to read the question carefully as to whether they're asking for making a choice of getting one handbag or getting one handbag from each brand actually here okay let's take a look at the third example okay spend some time reading it first okay he says that gina has three mangoes four oranges and five bananas here okay and she wants to bring some or all of these fruits along to a picnic how many possible choices can she make now in permutation and combination when we talk about non-living things like mangoes oranges bananas they are all considered as identical within the same type of fruit okay so there is no distinction between this particular mango as compared to another mango for example okay unlike living things like people animals and things like this then they will be distinct so in this case when you have to make a choice whether how many ways can you select some or all of the fruits to the picnic then you'll be thinking of say this you have three mangoes you can make a choice of not selecting any mangoes if you don't like mangoes or you may choose to select one or you may choose to select two or you love mangoes to so select three so there are actually four ways of making a selection of in terms of mangoes comes to oranges again you can don't select orange select one select two or select three or select four oranges here so in short there are five ways of making a selection for oranges okay then comes to bananas again zero one two three four and five so actually there are six ways of selecting bananas okay so therefore the number of ways will be four times five times six but you subtract off one okay why you need to subtract one reason is because there could be a possibility that you choose not to select any mangoes for the first stage not selecting any oranges in the second stage and not selecting any bananas in the third stage we need to remove that case because it says in this case that we are bringing some or all so it's, it doesn't allow the case where it's no fruits being selected so it minus of one and that gives you one one nine ways okay so these three examples provide you an idea about how we actually can do counting using the addition and multiplication principle okay thank you